everyone, this is Dylan again from Dylan's Reptile Time. Hope you're all doing okay. Uh, so welcome to another Dylan's Reptile Question Time. So, what is this week's question? Why do snakes stick their tongues out? Right, well, it's another good question. So why do snakes always stick their tongue out? So if you look at a snake like Malcolm, the Honduran milk snake here, they're always sticking their tongue out. And that's, uh, to put it simply, they're tasting the air when they do that. So that's kind of how they smell. So, but even though they've got nostrils at the front of their, their uh, head, uh, they also use their forked tongue to pick up scent particles in the air and kind of smell with that. They smell with their tongue. So how does that work? Uh, well, I'm going to try and describe it to you with this picture I drew. Now, I'm no artist like my dad, uh, Tell Hicks, but hopefully it should explain to you how that happens. Now, so the uh, the special tongue, it picks up like teeny tiny invisible scent particles from the air. And then when it sticks its tongue back into its mouth, those scent particles, that smell, is taken to a special organ called the Jacobson's organ, which sits on the roof of the snake's mouth. And they press their forked tongue into two pits in the roof of the mouth, which is the entrance to the Jacobson's organ. And then the Jacobson's organ figures out what the smell is and then sends that information to the snake's brain. So combined with their actual nostrils uh, and that tongue, they've got a really powerful sense of smell. And that's their main sense that they use. And they can detect, detect different smells for food, like their prey. Uh, they can detect predators. And they can also um, find a mate using their tongue. And it's a really special tongue. So they've got this forked tongue so that if there's a smell over there, they kind of smell it with that side. If there's a smell over there, they can smell it with that side and then take it to that Jacobson's organ. And that tells the, the brain kind of which way the snake needs to go to look for its food. So it's really clever. All right, so I hope that answered that question for you. And we'll be back soon with another question. If you've got any questions, please feel free to add them to the comments or whatever. And we'll, we'll answer them in a future Dylan's Reptile question time. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye.